Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here, and welcome to the first hair dye video in a long time. Uh, it's been a while, and my hair is uh, definitely greasy. It's dirty right now. Uh, I was going to take a shower last night, but then I decided, well, I'm going to probably do my hair today. So I just kind of left it like that so I could wash it at the same time. The hair is supposed to be really dry. My hair is kind of dry, but I don't like it being too dry because then it's weaker. The follicles are weaker when it's dry. So it's it's dry enough. It's not, I'm not just at the shower or anything. So what we're going to be doing today is uh, Feria Platinum Blonde. Now when I did have my hair dyed black, it was when my hair, before I got my hair cut, right? And when I got my hair cut, pretty much 80% of all the dyed hair was cut off. And then pretty much just the ends are black. And even the ends that were still black had been there for almost nine months. So that is pretty well faded. So most of my hair is natural. So which means it should take to the blonde pretty well. Cause trying to obviously bleach out black gives it like an orange mucky grossness. I was gonna have Sam's help with this, but she had to work today. It's, it's weird. Cause I feel like I have to consult the steps, which I will, cause I haven't done this in so long. Except first I'm gonna pee. That was a lot less than what it felt like in my bladder. Comb's still a little bit oily from when I did the oil treatment. I thought I cleaned it off, but I guess it kind of retained in the plastic. So uh, avert your eyes to see my really gross flat hair as it doesn't complement my face shape whatsoever. Isn't this just the boy of your mother's dreams? Look at me. Gross. Gross, flat, greasy hair. Oh my god. Be sure your hair is dry, unshampooed, and detangled. Check. Put on colorist gloves, drape towel over shoulders, which where did I just put my fucking towel? Oh, it's on my shoulder. Got the different mixes and everything right here. Get out the hair box, I don't fucking need you. I'm gonna have to shake this down the bottom, I'm gonna have to cut along that line, so I need some scissors. Oh my god, these scissors are so crap. We gotta pour this whole thing in here. As long as I don't fuck up while pouring. Oh, I already fucked up a little bit. Oh, it's getting on the floor. Try not to breathe this stuff in so much. Here's a flat cap you're supposed to use. You're supposed to use a flat cap. And then you use the applicator ca cap. I can't talk today. I don't know what's going on. I'm, I want to stream today and I can't even, I can't even talk. <laughs> Now we're going to take off this cap, applicator cap, and then we start. I don't know you guys know, I'm probably going to make weird faces. I always do when it comes to stuff like this. I always make weird faces. I probably am going to miss some spots in the back, especially when it comes to, uh, random strands like this and such. Which is why it's always good to have somebody's help. See, this is why you have somebody's help. You're supposed to do it section by section. I'm just running it through my hair. Now you're supposed to use like three quarters of the bottle and uh, then use the last bit of it to touch it up. So we're gonna leave that on there for 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about 40 minutes. I did 20 the first time and then I checked the instructions and then I reapplied some more and then I did another 20 minutes. So I can see it's starting to lighten a little bit right here. It's really hard to tell because it's also wet, but I can see a little bit of lighter brown spots in there. I don't know how much this is actually going to affect my hair, so... It's a staircase. In the middle of the fucking woods, in the proper context, it would probably be the most benign thing ever. It's just a normal staircase with beige carpet and about 10 steps tall. Alright, well I just got done putting the conditioner in, and uh, doesn't seem like it really did anything to my head. Um, I noticed a couple of lighter spots like I said, but I don't know, I did everything right. Maybe I needed to fully, maybe I needed to do a bleaching session first, but I thought that was the point was to... Uh, without, it said don't use on previously bleached hair, so I, I figure, okay, I guess I don't bleach my hair. Alright, 
So I can see some lighter spots. And it looks like there's some like golden there are some like golden like lighter streaks there. It's hard to tell in this lighting. But there are it's it's definitely a lighter brown over here now. If you can really tell. It's hard to tell also because it's obviously still wet and the lighting in here is not the best. But if I can get like the right sheen, you can see that there is like a a golden highlight in my hair, I suppose. Really look too different besides just a little bit lighter tone. So definitely not platinum blonde. <laughs> Definitely didn't do that. So this is a couple of days later, guys. Um, I just wanted to add this in at the end. I was originally just gonna say screw the video and not put it together, but uh, because I screwed it up. But I'm gonna add this in here to kind of explain you guys what happened. This is my hair right now. Um, it's just kind of like pulled back right now. It's just I'm not dealing with it, and I'm not. I'm trying not to wear hats as much to kind of let my hair breathe more because I always suffocate it in hats so I just kind of have it pinned back so it's not my face because I'm working you guys will watch me idiotically throughout um, mix everything without even putting the lightning cream in the freaking bottle I forgot to add the lightning cream the thing that makes your hair blonde I forgot to add that into the mixture somehow because it's it's the same looking tube as the conditioner you're supposed to use so i saw the conditioner tube and the lightning cream and in, in, in peripheral i kept thinking that they were the same tube just and i kept i thought i kept like moving it or something i don't know so i never added the lightning cream in so the whole time i was doing it i was just doing the like the toner or whatever have you and without the actual lightning cream so <laughs> whoops so what i did was after everything there when i was just like huh didn't really do anything I found the lightning cream. I was so frustrated and told myself, I'm just not going to make this video. And I just put it in my hair anyway. I mixed it in with whatever I had left in the bottle and I, I uh, put it together. And um, yeah, this is what it's at right now. So basically, I'm going to let my hair uh, heal up and recover for like a, another week or two. And then I'm going to re bleach it or whatever have you to get back to get to the full blonde. If you want to see another video where I really screwed up my hair, uh, click the video that'll be popping up right around here or something like that. And that was that was bad. That video was absolutely a mess. I, I destroyed my hair for a solid period of time. So anyways, guys, click on the video that's going to be right here. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Later.